High school football players in the area are patiently waiting for August when they can throw on those pads and kick off the season. But for now, they're going to have to settle for a little friendly competition. News 13 Sam Granville tells us how four panhandle squads went toe to toe in some seven on seven today. That's a lot of backyard football type things. You see someone open, just throw the ball to them. And uh, so I don't think they do it as much as what when I grew up without the uh, technology. So uh, it's great to see them out here having fun and competing and enjoying themselves. No referees, no pads, and no hitting. But it was high school football all the same. Bay, Rutherford, Freeport, and Bozeman gathered at the Tornadoes practice facility for 7-on-7, seven seven, and their coaches have been waiting to get their squads competing with other teams, but as of late, weather has been a factor in getting the full extent out of summer play. We've had a few 7-on-7s uh, seven canceled, including a uh, one and a half tournaments, so it's good to come here and not have to worry about that and, and uh, know that we're going to get those reps in, we'll get a little break in between games and then come back and get some more. Rutherford and Bay have already competed in seven on seven scrimmages this summer, but the coaches aim to face as many opponents as possible in the off season. That's what's great about our community and teams in the local area. We all coaches get along well, so we have these competitions and we move it around. So uh, it's always fun to see them and uh, get ready for the fall. With the relaxed rules and lack of officiating, a common theme for the seven on sevens this summer has been a consistency of trash talk. And there's a lot of trash talk and a little chippiness, but they, they, they shake hands and let it go and uh, you know they've grown up with each other in this community a lot of these teams are from the same areas so uh, you know it's fun to get out and see them compete and play with each other and they have a have a good time doing it and as the final month of summer is underway all eyes are set ahead for full pads and Friday nights excited for August 2nd really uh, don't get me wrong we're embracing what what point of the 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 process we're in right now but we're really excited about August 2nd and getting everybody back every day in helmets and uh, getting the schemes all put together and all that kind of stuff so we're super excited looking forward to it. Sam Granville News 13 Sports Panhandle Strong.